Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to this Saturday doubleheader here with the McNeil Mavericks as part of the Ron Rock ISD Legends Classic Tournament. Mavericks getting ready to take the field here. In game one against the San Antonio Rattlers, San Antonio Reagan Rattlers. Reagan program generally a pretty strong team year over year. They were 34-5 and five overall last season, 15-1 and one in district. 28-6A. Seven returning starters, eight returning lettermen. And uh, the Mavs will definitely have their work cut out for them here in game one this afternoon. Good morning, Jason. Glad to be alongside with you. Morning, man. partner. Morning, partner. Ready for some baseball. So, starting defense for the Mavericks. First base, Jackson Collins. Second base, Jack Goins. Shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Caleb Crail gets a start at third base. In left field, Ramsey Simpson. Center field, Chris Windesman. Right field, James Morio. Behind the plate, the senior Garrett Banks. And the starting pitcher for, for game one here for the Mavericks, Dom Escamilla. A pretty overcast morning here so far for game one. Pretty good winds blowing out to left field again. And pulling up right now. About 70 degrees. And winds blowing out. Yep, to the left, 15 miles an hour. Good day for right-handed hitters again. Yes, it is. Saw a home run. Yesterday in game two from uh, Jackson Collins on the Mavericks solo shot. I think that ball still yet to come down. It was such a moonshot way up there over the field and left uh, over the fence in left field. So, all right, we're getting re getting ready to get underway. Leading off for the Rattlers, center fielder number seven, Britton Moore. And first pitch to Moore from Escamilla is a breaking ball misses low and outside. Ball one. Next pitch, fastball misses a little outside and low. It'll be 2 0 the count. More will be followed by the shortstop, Cole Tabor, and then the first baseman, Brennan Greer. 2 0 pitch, misses high, ball three. Rio pitch catches the inside corner, called strike one. Through one pitch swung on, lofted into center field. Windsman heading back and over to his right, and he makes the grab on the run for the first out of the inning. Wind is going to be a factor in today's games, no doubt. He, yeah. uh, he read that ball well. Good play by Chris Witnessman. Definitely had some carry on that. Get that ball up high in the jet stream. And it's uh, it's going to do some interesting things. So one away. Brings up the number two hitter, shortstop Cole Tabor. He swings the first pitch, drives it deep into right field. Morio is over, and that ball is going to be foul, actually. Thankfully, is right. Ball just kind of died there. I was gonna say it looked like it, it was harder. It was than hit I, harder than uh -huh. uh, it showed, but it was going since it was down the right field line is going against the wind. So Owen won the count to Tabor. Next pitch misses high. Ball one. Tabor looks at a ball low in the dirt. Two and one the count. And next pitch looks like it came inside and must have hit him on the wrist there. 
So Tabor is aboard with a hit by pitch. Brings up the number three hitter and first baseman, Brennan Greer, to the plate. Swings the first pitch and fouls it back out of play. And it's going to be a steps off to check his runner at first. And looks like the dead ball. Yep, hit by pitch. Another hit by pitch. The hitter, Greer himself, wasn't entirely convinced it hit him, but he will take his base either way. Greer just standing, turning around even. Almost like, he's like, you sure, you sure, Blue? staying in the box. You yeah. sure I can't stand, I stand in here and get that. another shot? Yeah. I don't think it was hit. <laughs> Umpire said, yes, you were. <laughs> take, sec take first base. So runners on first and second now with one out brings up the designated hitter, Andrew Ermis. And he looks at a first pitch fastball, catches the outside part of the plate for called strike one. Uniforms generally in the same color palette today on both sides, both wearing gray and green. So uh, could be a bit hard to distinguish who's who. <laughs> Trying to fool us out here, Jason. Swings to the next pitch, lofts a fly ball into center field. Windsman is over to his left, and he makes the grab. That's going to be deep enough for both runners to tag. Actually, no. Runner from second is going to tag and go to third, but the runner on first stays. So Tabor, number two for Reagan. San Antonio Reagan is on third base. And then we've got uh, Greer on first. All right, so runners on first and third with two outs now. Brings up the number five hitter, third baseman, Tegan Peoples. Yeah, first pitch to Peoples, called strike on the outside corner. So only one the count to Peoples here. He's asking me to check the runners. And the pitch is a kind of squib shot right over to Jackson go. Collins at first base, and he grabs it and takes the unassisted for the third out of the inning. So a little bit of traffic on the base pass due to back-to-back -back hit by pitches, but no damage done. No runs, no hits, no errors. Mavs coming up to their first at-bats here in the bottom of the first. Score 0-0. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the first. Left fielder Ramsey Simpson will be followed by Jack Goins and then Ryan Vosick. And they will face starting pitcher for the Reagan Rattlers, number 15, Caleb Rogers. And Simpson tries to check his swing in the first pitch but goes around, strike one. The next pitch in there called strike two. O2 pitch to Simpson. Misses high and inside ball one. Next pitch, fastball misses a little low and outside. It'll be two balls, two strikes to Simpson. Left handed hitter. The pitch misses a little high and out. So went from 0 2 all the way to full count. Simpson with some good speeds. Good speed if we can get him on the base pass. Next pitch swung on and missed strike three. So one away for the Mavs here in the bottom of the first. Brings up second baseman Jack Goins. He swings at the first pitch, lofts it into center field. Center fielder comes a couple steps over to his right and makes the grab. Really good contact by Goins. Just got under that ball. Just a for the fly out to center field. So two quick outs for the Mavs here in the bottom of the first. Brings up shortstop number nine, Ryan Vosick. He swings at the first pitch, lofts a ground ball, kind of candy hop right to the second baseman, and throws it over to first, and that will retire the side. So the Mavs go 1-2-3 here in the bottom of the first. No runs, no hits. Still no score as we head to the top of the second. Rattler's coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Top of the second in inning here, leading off for the Reagan Rattlers will be the second baseman, Ashton Beard. Now 
Beard squares around a bunt, but the pitch is outside. Pulls back for ball one. Next pitch misses outside and high, ball two. Beard hitting in the number six spot. He'll be followed by the left fielder, Jacob King, and then the catcher, Caden Roy. 2-0 pitch in there on the inside corner called strike one. Two one pitch to Beard, fouled back into the screen. Two two pitch misses high and inside, so we'll have a full count now to the leadoff hitter Beard. Next pitch swung on, lofted into left center field. Left fielder Ramsey Simpson's yeah. over a couple of steps and makes the grab. Nice catch with Ramsey and left for the first out. It's going to be doing a good job of getting fly balls. Just kind of hang up there in the outfield. That strong kind of left center, center field wind going on. Escamilla at 21 pitches right now. First pick to Jacob King as that breaking ball catches the outside corner for strike one. Swings so the next pitch, ground ball to Ryan Vosick at shortstop, feels it cleanly, makes the throw over to first in time for the second out of the inning. Two-way brings up the catcher, number 27, Caden Roy. First pitch misses outside. Ball one. Next pitch, fastball. Good placement right there on the outside corner, Black. So it'll be a one-on-one -on -one count to Roy. So his next pitch fouls it off of either the plate or his foot. A foul ball. Yep. Got his foot. So Roy takes an extra few seconds to get back in the box. 1-2 pitch. Swung on, ground ball to shortstop. Fielded on the backhand by Vasek. Throws over to first. Good nice scoop by scoop. Collins in time for Great the third out. Collins. Great play. Way to go, Jackson. So the Rattlers go 1-2-3 here in the top of the second inning. No runs, no hits. Still no score heading into the bottom of the second inning. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
All right, middle of the lineup due up here for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the second. Leading off will be the first baseman, Jackson Collins. Collins with a solo home run in game two yesterday. Bomb yesterday. And he swings at the first pitch and launches a sky-high ball over Houses. to the left side. Too a lot high. of wind. <laughs> a lot of wind high, and the ball is down. <laughs> I love it. Third baseman made a valiant effort to get it there, but it was just too high. Too high. Yeah. High foul ball, strike one. Collins is ready to go. Back in the box. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung on, lofted. He's going to get over the. Uh, oh, it looked he like it was going to go snag it. over the head of the Caught left fielder. Left fielder. <laughs> Jumped up on the run with his hips turned to the last second and managed to bring that in. Heck of a play. Good hard hit by Collins there, and if that gets down, that's uh, definitely a double. Yeah. Tip my hat there to the left fielder. But unfortunately, it's a great play, and they lined out for the first out of the inning. Brings up the center fielder, Chris Windesman. He swings the first pitch and fouls it back to the screen over towards the Rattlers dugout. But that's the type of contact we need right there by Collins. Well, absolutely. Home run yesterday and still hit the ball really hard in his first at bat. Just, just needed to get that up in the jet stream a little yeah. higher and it probably would have carried over. That's right. A one pitch to Windesman, misses low and outside, ball one. Just low for a ball. Yeah. Two and one now. Two one pitch to win has been swung on, lofted into foul territory over on the first base side. Second baseman comes over and makes the play in foul territory for the second out of the inning. I was about to say too high again, but you know. Made the catch for the second out of the inning. That will bring up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks had a ground rule double. Bounced over the fence in left field. Game two yesterday as well. Banks looks at a first pitch fastball. Catches the outside corner for strike one. Next pitch swung on, driven deep into left field, but that's going to be foul. Looks like that one went over the visitor bullpen area. So a good hard swing. Just need to straighten it out a little bit. Mavs still looking for their first hit. Actually, both teams still looking and for their first next, hit. Yeah, that's right. Next pitch misses outside and low. One and two, the count to Banks. Third baseman Caleb Crail stands on deck. Next pitch swung on it. Oh, just caught a piece of it, fouled it. Next pitch swung on, breaking ball, driven deep into the gap in left center field. Center fielder's over there, and he makes the grab again. Wow, some great defensive plays being made on the run by this Rattler outfield. Well hit ball, just very nice play. Wow, what a shot. So the Mavs go 1-2-3 again here in the bottom of the second. No runs, no hits. Still looking for the first hit of the game on both sides. Heading to the top of the third inning here. Rattler's coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
All right, back with the top of the third inning. Number nine here, Luke Sasser, will lead off and then back to the top of the order for the Rattlers. Judging by the activity on the flags out in uh, right center, wind seems to be blowing almost straight out dead center now. And Sasser squares around to bunt, but pulls back and pitches a ball on the outside. Outside of the plate. We've got weather. We've got weather real similar to yesterday. Mostly cloudy. Next pitch misses high and outside, so it'll be 2 0 count to Sasser. To a breaking ball comes in, catches the inside corner, called strike. Another ball misses high and outside, so it'll be three balls, one strike. Come back and get him, Escamilla. Three and one count. Oh, next oh. pitch misses just a little bit high, I suppose. Oh, I might have caught the edge, but it didn't. The edge of the plate. Nope. So it's a leadoff base on balls for the nine-hitter Sasser. That brings us back to the top of the Rattler lineup. Center fielder Britton Moore flew out to center field in his first at bat. Camilla throws over to check the runner at first. Back in time safely. Another throw over. Sasser with a decent lead. Certainly looking like he's got intent to try to steal a base. Does not go. First pitch to the hitter Moore if misses high. Third baseman Crail up on the grass. Mavericks defense potentially expecting bunt here. Does Sasser square around, going. lays a bunt down right down the first baseline and into the hands of Collins, who will tag the runner for the out at first. And Sasser makes it to second. So Moore bunts and moves the runner over to second and is the first out of the inning. Brings up the number two hitter, Cole Tabor, who was hit by a pitch back in the first. And he looks at a first pitch fastball in the outside corner for called strike one. Cole Tabor is a uh, commit to Temple College. Runner goes, pitches into dirt, and gets away from the catcher. And Sasser's going to remain on third. So runner on third now, infield coming all the way in on the grass. Trying to prevent that runner from scoring. And the count is now two balls and one strike on Tabor. Next pitch misses outside. Count will go to three and one. Mavs infield all up on the right on the edge of the grass. Next pitch is swung on and fouled. So we'll have a full count with one out and the uh, leadoff hitter Sasser runner on third base.
3-2 pitch. Yes. In there, called strike Got three. Escamilla with the K. First strikeout for Escamilla this game. Couldn't come at a better time. So now Mavs defects will, will relax back to regular depth with two outs. Number three hitter Brennan Greer stands in. He was hit by a pitch back in the first inning as well. And he looks at the first pitch. Fastball misses outside. Next pitch swung on, popped to foul territory on the See if it stays third in. base side, and it is going to <laughs> actually hit a San Antonio Reagan player in the dugout. It was a, just a high fly ball. It was not a line drive for those yeah. who, in case it went off camera there, but the player was just kind of sitting there, put his head he down, was, and the ball fine. came down on his thigh. <laughs> That's why we were <laughs> laughing about it, but uh, yeah, he's, okay. he's completely fine. He's okay. Probably mm -hmm. taking a bunch of uh, right. jokes and ribbing from his fellow teammates there in the, in the Rattlers' dugout. He, he just never even turned to yeah, you know, just look up in the sky. Put the head just down. and head down, and if it hits me, it hits me. Yep. Yeah. 1-1 one, one pitch, misses outside. This will be two balls and one strike to the hitter, Greer. Nope, didn't get the inside call there. Yeah, misses just a little bit inside. 3-1 the count now. Next pitch swung on, sky high drive, but way foul. Too high and too out of play. Foul. So three two pitch. Misses outside for ball four. Ball pops away from the catcher uh, banks there, but not enough for anyone to advance. So two out walk for Greer. Puts the runners on first and third with two outs. Brings up designated hitter Andrew Ermis. Flew out to center field in his first at bat. Sun has managed to come out from behind clouds. And first pitch to Ermis misses down low. Next pitch misses low and inside this time, so two balls, no strikes to count to Ermis. Sasser, the leadoff hitter, still standing on third base. Brandon Greer, the previous hitter, on fir on first. Uh, Escamilla had 49 pitches now, that being the 49th pitch with the 2-0 no count now with two down. That ball down low. Makes the count 3-0. and oh. 3-0 pitch. Thought it was ball four. Umpire Ooh. called it. Strike one on the inside corner. Not so fast. So Irmus will head back. It was a 3-1 pitch. Swung on, lofted into deep left field towards the scoreboard. Oh, Simpson going back, shot. and that ball is going to be over the scoreboard and out of here for a three-run home run. That was a well hit ball, lofted high up in that jet stream and just carried its way comfortably over the McNeil baseball scoreboard out there in left That's center field. Day like today, you get that ball up there, yep. it's going to carry. You hit it hard enough, get it high enough. 
especially that left side, that left field, it's gone. So the Rattlers strike first here in the top of the third inning. Three-run home run makes the score 3-0. Two outs brings up Tegan Peoples. He's lost a first pitch foul ball out of play. Can, yep. Peoples uh, grounded out to first base in his first at bat. Next pitch to Peoples misses down low for ball one. Yes, one to one to count. Nobody on base after the base clearing three run home run by Hermes. Next pitch swung on hard ground ball right into the glove of the shortstop Vasek fields it throws it over to first in time and that will end the inning. But the damage is done. Three runs for San Antonio Reagan. Three runs for the Rattlers. On one hit, three, a base clearing three run home run. Heading to the bottom of the third, Mavs coming up to bat. Score San Antonio Rattlers three. Maverick Zero. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of third inning, third baseman Caleb Crail. Mavs still looking for first base runner, first hit of this game. Yeah, nothing happening on offense yet thus far with the Mavs. Need to change that here, starting now. Crail looks at a first pitch. Fastball misses outside and low. Ball one. Another fastball misses inside and low this time. Ball two. Mavs making some good contact. Driving some strong hits out to the outfield. Just some great defensive plays by the Rattlers outfield. 2-0 pitch. Misses outside and low this time. So Crails ahead looking at 3-0. And the next pitch him. hits him on the jersey. So Crail is aboard with a leadoff hit by pitch here in the bottom of the third. That'll bring up the right fielder, James Morio. Morio had a triple in uh, game one of the two game series yesterday. He squares around to bunt, lays it down, kind of chop, pops off the uh, plate. And it'll be a foul ball. So Mori will come back. Rattler's third baseman now, having seen that bunt, playing right on the edge of the grass. Oh, one pitch swung on and missed, strike two. Oh, two pitch to Borio misses high and outside. 
Be one ball, two strikes. Lead off hitter Crail. Still standing on first base. O2 pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. So one away. That'll bring up the other Morio, Brandon Morio, designated hitter. He swings the first pitch, pops it up, shallow infield. First baseman coming in towards the pitcher's mound, and he makes the play. That'll bring us back to the top of the Mavericks order with two away. Ramsey Simpson struck out in his first at bat. He swings the first pitch and lofts a sky-high foul ball, foul territory on the third base side. Third baseman's over, and he banks the grab, and that will end the inning. So Mavs get their first base runner, but unable to bring him around as they go 1-2-3 after the leadoff hit by pitch. No runs, no hits. We head to the top of the fourth inning. Mavs still chasing three runs. Reagan three, Matt McNeil zero. We'll be right back. Back with the top of the fourth inning. Six, seven, eight hitters due up for the Rattlers. Leading off will be the second baseman, Ashton Beard. Flew out to left field in his first at bat as he looks at ball one high. Next pitch, breaking ball. Misses a little bit low, looks like. Will be two balls, no strikes. Only one hit for both teams so far through three complete. 2 0 pitch misses low. This will be 3 0 to the leadoff hitter, Beard. Looks like we have some activity over in the uh, Mavericks bullpen. And next pitch. Didn't call the strike there. So ball four. Missed somewhere, so it's a mm -hmm. leadoff base on balls. Got Beard standing on first base. Okay. That will bring up left fielder Jacob King grounded out to shortstop in his first at bat. He squares around to bunt, pulls back, runner goes, throw down. Not bad. It looks like it was a pretty close play there, but umpire called him safe. So stolen base for Beard. Jacob King 
St. Mary's commit. The batter. I'm trying to say because he pulled back, did not commit on the bunt, so it was one and zero the count. Yeah. Squares around to bunt, lays it down. Good bunt right down the third base line. Fielded by Crail at third. Throws to first. Not in time. Oh, oh it is in time. Wow. Oh, got the call from the umpire. Has called out. Wow. Spoke too soon up here at the booth. <laughs> the entire booth is pleasantly surprised. <laughs> we got that called out on King. Okay. No complaints. <laughs> All right, so the bunt moves Beard over to third base. Is that what it is, makeup call? Yeah, okay. So with one away, that brings up the catcher, Caden Roy. He grounded out to shortstop in his first at bat, and he chops the first pitch he sees foul over by the third base side. This will be 0-1. A one curveball misses high and outside. With one out, the Mavs infield, all all of them playing in on the grass. One, one pitch misses a little bit high. Got to be two and one. Lost was shallow line drive out in right field. Morial's on the run, grabs it, and that's going to be deep enough for Beard to tag from third base and come in and score. So a sacrifice fly for Roy makes the score 4 0 Rattlers. That wind held up just enough okay. for Morio in right field to make the catch. Nice play. So two away. They did. Yep. Brings so. up number nine hitter Luke Sasser. He squares around to bunt with two outs. And looks like he pulls back. Pitch is called a ball. So third baseman Crail's up on the grass having seen that bunt. Next pitch looked at left low and outside. Be 2-0. Two, two outs. Nobody on. Next pitch misses high and inside. So it'll be three balls and no strikes to Sasser. Leadoff hitter Britton Moore stands on deck. And 3-0 pitches over there for get me over strike. So that's going to be at 68 pitches now. We had two two arms up in the uh, Mavericks bullpen as Sasser looks at ball four. Second walk of the day for Sasser. That brings up the center fielder leadoff hitter Britton Moore. 0 for 2 today. Flew out center field and grounded out to first base in the third inning. As he looks at ball one, fastball misses outside low. Mia throws over to check the runner Sasser at first. He's back safely. One-0 pitch. Runner goes. Pitch is swung on and fouled back behind the press box. So Sasser will head back to first base.
Oh, throws next to me and throws over to first base, but the throw is offline and goes all the way to the fence, so that will allow Sasser to advance easily to second base. One ball, one strike. The count to Moore. And he looks at a ball that misses outside. Two and one the count as uh, catcher Banks heads down to talk through the situation here with the pitcher Escamilla. Banks has returned, and we are set for the 2-1 pitch here from Escamilla. Good pitch, but two, missed. 2-1 pitch looked good, but missed somewhere. So it'll be three balls and one strike. With two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Sasser still your runner on second. Vlasic trying to keep Sasser close to second. Pitch is swung on and lined mm. just out of, re out of reach of the shortstop. Vasek and into center field for a base hit. And Sasser's going to come around all the way from second and score on that line drive. So two out RBI single makes the score 5-0 for the Rattlers. And that brings up the number two hitter, Cole Tabor. Hit by a pitch and uh, struck out looking back in the third inning. Pitch is swung on, lined in the right Stay field. There and it. Morio comes in just a couple of steps and makes the grab for the third out of the inning. So the Rattlers tack on two more. And we head to the bottom of fourth inning. Rattlers 5, Maverick 0. We'll be right back. All right, Mavericks still looking for their first hit here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two, three, four hitters due up to bat. Leading off will be the second baseman, Jack Goins. Flew out to center field so far today. Swings the first pitch and fouls it back into the screen. Oh, one pitch misses low and outside, so it'll be one and one. Rattler pitcher Rogers working very efficiently here today. 31 pitches through as, we, as we're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the one one pitch to Goins. Fastball misses outside. Ball two.
Next pitch swung on, lined in his left field go. and down for a base hit. First hit for the Mavs. Here we go. Goins with the base hit. So the speedy Goins is aboard. That's the way to get it started. Now we'll bring up number three hitter Ryan Vosick. Vosick grounded out to second base back in the first inning. First pitch breaking ball misses pretty far outside, ball one. No doubt Rogers has been very efficient. Couple strikeouts, hit by pitch, and that was the first hit he's given up in this game. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play. So one ball, one strike to count to Vasek. Another breaking ball misses outside. Let's go, Vasek. Get a hold of one. Next pitch swung on, driven deep into the gap in left center field. Left fielder and center ball. fielder coming over. Yes. Oh, left fielder drops the ball. And Goings is going to try to reach third, and he is in. And Vosick is in at second base on the... There we go. On the error by the Rattlers left fielder. Speedy Goings. It was, a, it was a tough play. It was a good shot in the gap. Both center fielder and left fielder converging on it at top speed. Got a glove on it, but just couldn't find the, couldn't bring it in. Goins was not hesitating, running hard around the bases, sliding and, and sliding into third base. So we've got Vasek and Goins, second and third, nobody out. Brings up Jackson Collins. Collins with a well-hit ball, lined out to left field back in his first at bat. As he looks at a fastball that misses outside for ball one. So the pitch misses low and in the dirt. So 2-0 the count to Collins. Ducks on a pawn. Let's go, Mavs. Two-o pitch to Collins misses outside in the dirt again, so it'll be three and Rogers having a little bit of issues with his control these last few pitches. Well, first time having some base runners on, so right, it'll do it to you. 3 0 pitch. That's almost hits inside, him inside almost for hit ball him. four. Regardless, he's on first base for the walk. And that will load the bases with nobody out. And that will bring up Chris Windesman. Which has been popped out to first base and his one at bat here in the second inning. And it looks like we're going to have a visit to the mound from the Rattlers pitching coach. So we're with bases loaded and movement. nobody out, we're finally starting to see some movement up in the uh, Rattlers bullpen. Rattler's head coach oh, started to head back, and then now he's heading back out to the mound and then, then clarifies something with his second baseman and heads back to the dugout. So we'll get ready to reset here. Big opportunity for the Mavs. Bases loaded. Jack Goins, your runner at third. Vosick on second. Jackson Collins at first. As Windesman steps in to see the first pitch. And he looks at a fastball in there for called strike one. Well, the 
pitch comes fastball call on the inside corner strike two O2 pitch to Windsman. Swung on ground ball. There we Kick go. The glove of the first baseman into right field. Goins will score from third. Oh, and we've got some base running confusion going on here as Collins went overthrow. Oh, and there's an overthrow into center field, <laughs> and everyone's going to be safe. Collins overran the bag, was heads down going to third with Vosick, the runner, still standing on it. But fortunately, an overthrow by the catcher. It goes into center field, allows Vosick to score. From what I saw, Collins just, he, he assumed that Ryan was coming in. Vosick was coming in to score. But <laughs> um, unbeknownst to Collins, like you said, with the head down, he looks up and Ryan's he was on, up He was there. on a mission. So Collins in no man's land. <laughs> Thankfully, we got the overthrow for Vosick to score in the air there on the overthrow. So two runs right. come in on the single by Windsman. Winsman stayed at first base through the uh, kind of base running confusion that was going on there. Collins, a runner at third. And Garrett Banks stands in and looks at a first pitch called strike. So score now 5-2. to two. Still no outs. And still nobody out with runners on first and third for the Mavericks. Big cut by Banks there, but misses on a high heater. 0-2 oh, the count to Banks. Next pitch in the dirt. Misses for ball one. Comes the 1-2 pitch to Banks. Runner goes. Swung on a miss. Strike three. And that ball is going to be thrown into center field. Just sailed. Which will allow Collins to come in easily from third. And Windesman, who was stealing on the pitch, is going to go all the way from first to third. That ball just sailed from the catcher, Reagan. Sailed into the well over the head of the second baseman into the outfield. Helping. Uh, oh. Hold up. We're going to wait for the call here from the umpire. Windesman's trotting back to first base. And here comes Collins, who's going back to third base. Are they going to say there was a foul tip there or hitter's interference potentially? And he's calling Windesman out, home plate umpire. What do you see here, Jason? Home plate interference? I have no idea what's going on. Home plate in interference by Banks. I don't know. We'll wait and see. So if it's interference on the hitter Banks, it's understandable that he would be out. But why the runner at first, Windesman, would be called out That's as well. That's a good point. <clears throat> that seems to be what the call is. I confess I have no idea how to explain this one, folks. So somehow on a swinging strike three and an overthrow into, se into center field, we have two outs. Have not seen that before. <laughs> okay. Two outs. All right. So all of a sudden it's two outs. We still have a uh, runner on third, Collins. And Caleb Crail comes to the plate, and he there hits a good go. ground ball into right field for a base hit, and that will bring Collins again. For the second time this inning. Nice piece of hitting there by Crail to get the RBI. So Collins scored. Now making it 5 3. That brings up left hand hitting James Moore here with two outs and Crail the runner on first. And Morio lines a shot Let's into go. the gap in left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Crail is running all the way to third, third, and he is going to slide, and he will be in. Good base running. Good jump by Caleb Crail there. 
Again, no hesitation there. Um, earlier it was Goins that uh, was hustling around the bag, around the bases to make it to third. Now it's Crail's turn. And it looks like that's going to be the end of the that's it. outing here for the Rogers. Rattlers pitcher Rogers as the head coach comes out. We're going to have a pitching change. Looks like number six, Jeter Battles, is going to come in. So we'll let the new Rattlers pitcher get his warm-ups, and we'll be right back. All right, so the new pitcher for the Rattlers is ready to go. And he will face the designated hitter, Brandon Morio. He inherits two-out situation. Runners on first and third. Crail on third. James Morio who just reached with a single on first. And the first pitch to Morio is lined in his center field, but a couple of steps in as the center fielder makes the grab. Well hit ball. Just happened to hang up there with enough time for the center fielder to come in and grab it. So the Mavs show some life here. Tack on three runs. In the bottom of the fourth inning, still chasing two more. Rattlers lead by a score of 5-3. to three. We head to the top of the fifth, and we'll be right back.
All right, top of the fifth inning here, we have a pitching change for the Mavericks. Number 16, Wyatt Newman comes in in relief for Escamilla. And leading off for the Rattlers will be the number three hitter, Brennan Greer, who has the Magnetic Personality Award today so far with two hit-by-pitches and, and two of his bats at bats today. And he looks at a first pitch fastball in the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch bounces in the dirt, ball one. So clarification on that two-out strikeout that happened on the Mavericks there in the last inning. So Banks swung and missed, strike three. And apparently interfered with the throwdown process that was happening as the runner on first, Windesman, was trying to steal second. And so since Banks was already out, he can't be out twice in one at bat. And since he interfered with the throwdown, Windesman, the runner at first, was called out uh, due to that interference effect there. So that's how we got to two outs on a strikeout. As the next pitch to Greer misses outside for ball two. All of us up here in the box had to defer to Jason <laughs> to figure that one out. <laughs> Not one you see very often there. There was a lot going on <laughs> in that play. Thank you for that explanation, though. No extra charge for that. I three three there'd and one the count. <laughs> figured there'd be a fee <laughs> involved. And next pitch misses outside and low for ball four. So Greer is aboard with a leadoff walk here in the top of the fifth. Brings up the designated hitter, Ermis, who hit the three-run home run in his last at bat. And that ball still hasn't come down yet. Still in orbit. Yeah, I think that one's that still up there. Bomb by Hermes. Stratosphere somewhere. Yeah. First pitch to Hermes misses low and outside. Next pitch outside, but Got catches the, the corner, so called strike one. Pitcher Newman throws over to first base, checks the runner. He's back safely. One one pitch to Hermes down in the dirt. Kept in front by the catcher uh, Banks though. So two and one to count to the DH Hermes. Greer still the runner on first. Next pitch swung on ground ball, fielded by third baseman Crail. Oh, can't quite find the handle on it though, so everybody's going to be safe. Just that slow roller, you know, the yeah. ball off the bat, Krill charging hard. Just couldn't find the handle on it. So the runners on first and second now, nobody out, brings up the number five hitter, Peoples. Peoples 0 for 2 with a ground out to first and then a ground out to short so far today. And he lays down a bunt, and it is foul down the third baseline. So infield corners up on the grass, having seen the bunt. He's going to lay a bunt down again, but pitches far outside and pulls back in time. So Rattler's team definitely with some power hitting, but not afraid to use the small ball situationally either. We'll see if he squares around again with the 1-1 pitch here. 
He does. Lays a bunt down. It's fair territory down the third base line. Crail took a second and hesitated. And it stayed fair, so it's going to be safe all around. On the infield bunt single. Crail unsure if that ball was going to stay fair and go foul. He had that slight hesitation, as you stated. Yep. And that's 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 a spongy area of it's grass tough. there. Just kind of stayed where it would be. So, Peoples reaches safely on the infield bunt single. That loads the bases and brings up number six hitter Ashton Beard. Flew out and walked in his at-bats as he looks at first pitch fastball that misses high. Next pitch swung on, lofted into shallow center fields. Shortstop Vosick going back, and it drops down. And we'll see if we can get a force out here on the throw. There's a tag. Oh, looks like he put the tag on him, but umpire says no. He's safe at third. So center fielder Windesman picked up the ball and threw it all the way to try to get the runner at third. It looked like Crail took the ball and tagged him, but apparently not. That's what I saw, but... So, everybody's safe. A lot of activity. It's just an infield or a bloop single. And one run comes across. And the bases remain loaded. So the score is now 6-3, to three, San Antonio. Nobody out. First pitch, grounded ball, third base, fielded by Crail. Throws the second in time for the out, but the ball is thrown away at first. And that will allow two runs to score. And the hitter, King, is standing on second base. It actually looks like only one run scored there. Yeah. No, no, two runs did score. Two runs scored. Oh, there's the second. Yep. Yes, we got a runner on second now. Two runs scored. Now with one out. And just runner so on second. King is safe on the fielder's choice. Two runs came across on the throwing error. And the catcher, Caden Roy, stands in and looks at called strike one after the first pitch ball. So one on one count to Roy. Ground ball in the gap between shortstop and third base, and that's going to be a single in the left field. Runner no, will hold up at no third. No play at the plate. No play at the plate. No. And so we've got runners on first and third with one out. And that brings up the number nine hitter, Luke Sasser. Looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher, Roy, at first. Number 22, Jack Allison. Now the courtesy runner at first base. So now score being eight to three, San Antonio Reagan over the Mavs. And with the one out. And Newman throws over to first to check the runner there. The hitter Sasser squared around very early showing bunt. Third baseman Crail up on the grass. He squares around a bunt again before the pitcher even comes set. Newman throws over to first again to check the runner. He's back in time. Mavs defense need to stop the bleeding right now. Let's roll a double play. Let's get out of this. There, I'm Sasser calling. squares around a bunt, lets it go past. Runner will steal from second uncontested as Banks did not throw down. So much for the double play I was looking for. Now with the runners on second and third. Stolen base takes the force away. So runners on second and third now with one out. And it'll be a 1-0 count to the hitter Sasser. Swings. Hits a ground ball up the middle. Knocked down by the second baseman Goins. Throws over to first but not in time. And I suspect they'll score that one a single. Because that was a hard hit ball. Yeah. 
kind of right, right, came right back to the pitcher, and then Goins make a diving stop. Looks like he lost his glove and dive, but then pulled the ball out of the glove, threw it over to first, just not in time. King comes in to score for Reagan's uh, ninth run of the game. So King scores. Allison, the courtesy runner, moves to third and is first and third again with one out for leadoff hitter Britt Moore, who lofts the ball into shallow right field. Right fielder Morio underneath it, and he makes the grab. He's going to try to the runner's going to try to score from third, and he will come in easily. And courtesy runner Allison comes across the plate. And that makes the score now 10 to three in favor of the Rattlers. And we got Tabor at the plate with the uh, attempt bunt foul for strike one. Make sure I got this right, 10 to three. With two down. Runner on first. Pitcher Newman throws over to check Sasser. The runner at first. He's back in time. Next pitch swung on, lofted into left into right field. Mori was over a couple of steps to his right, and he makes the catch to end the inning. He was a good he was in good position right there. Just had to take a few steps for that catch, for that out. So the, we end the inning. Rattlers send all nine of their hitters in their lineup to the plate that inning. Tack on five more runs, and we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Score: San Antonio Rattlers th ten, Mavericks three. We'll be right back. Top of the order coming up for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Leading off left fielder Ramsey Simpson. 0 for 2 this game. Looking for his first uh, any way to get on base here. Swings the first pitch and hits a little squib dribbler down the third base line. And it's going to be foul. Pitcher of record who came in for one batter last inning here for the uh, Rattlers, number six, Ryland Rangel, took over for Caleb Rogers. Boy, Simpson hit that ball at the end of the bat. I thought it might even have a chance of curling There was a lot of spin. Lots, lots of spin. Of, lots of English. A yep. lot of English on that. A one pitch to Simpson. But it stayed foul, so. Big slider misses high. Yeah, flags, flags out in right center, pretty much blowing straight out to center field. Next pitch, swung on, fouled back out of play. So it's one ball and two strikes to count to Simpson. Yeah, the wind's holding steady around 15 miles an hour, so. 
Just get a hold of one. Oh, slider comes in and seems to hit hits Simpson somewhere on his body there. It was a hard slider. So he hits down to first base a bit gingerly and is on with a leadoff hit by pitch. Slider had a lot of movement on it. It came in quickly. Yeah, yeah a lot of velocity and a lot of movement. Yep. A little too much for right-handed pitcher throwing to a left-handed batter. That'll bring up Jack Goins. Had a single his last at bat, scored a run. Swings the first pitch, fouls it back out of play. A oh, one pitch, another hard slider, but sweeps too far off the plate. So it'll be one ball, one strike to Goins. Next pitch swung on, caught just a piece of it. Fouled it back into the screen. Be one ball, two strikes to Goins. Runner at first, Simpson getting a progressively larger lead with every pitch here. Does have some good speed. We'll see if he, uh, if Aguirre dies up a hit and run play here. Next pitch, good slider swung on a miss, strike three. So one away for the Mavs here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up number three hitter Ryan Vosick. Safe on a drop fly ball last inning and uh, was the second run scored by the Mavericks this game. He looks at one of those hard sliders again that misses. Ball one. Oh, got and him. Next pitch fastball hey, hits pitch. him in the square of his back. So second hit by pitch this inning. That'll move Simpson from first to second. And that'll bring up the heavy hitting Jackson Collins with runners on first and second and one out. Collins walked his last at bat and was accounted for the third run scored by the Mavericks here this game. So the first pitch fastball misses a little bit high and outside. Next pitch swung on, lined into there the gap go. in left field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Simpson Should is going to come around. Oh, he holds up, holds up at third base there. Left fielder kind of misplayed it, and, but kept it in front of him. Yeah, and with that misplay, I, I thought that uh, Simpson might be able to score, but, you know, coach-wise, just holding him up, Mavs down by seven runs. Right, when you're chasing seven runs, that run is not going to determine the outcome not, of the game for you just not yet. Not really so. a risk of chancing it there and getting thrown out at home. So You're, you're in the middle of your lineup. you got your best hitters That's coming right. up. So now we've got that single, loads the bases, brings up Chris Windesman, who came up with bases loaded the last inning and had a ground ball through the first base side for a single. And the first pitch to him is another slider that comes in and hits him. Ah. Looks like it got him on the leg or the abdomen or the hip, something there. So he's going to gingerly that walk down to first with an look. RBI hit by pitch. Look painful. Walk it off, Chris. So third hit by pitch this inning. Bases remain loaded. Yeah, I was going to say, we need a courtesy runner, and he's uh, – who do we have coming in right there? Luke Kinky? Yeah, 21 for the Mavs. Luke Kinky. So Windesman is going to exit the game. Uh, exiting, yep. On that hit by pitch. So 
So number 21, Luke Hankey, comes in as the pinch runner for the injured Windesman. And with bases loaded, one out brings up the catcher Garrett Banks. Score is now 10 to 4. And Banks checks his swing on a high fastball and fouls it back into the screen. So Mavs with the bases loaded and one out. Next pitch on one of those hard sliders. This one does catch the middle outside part of the zone there for called strike two. 0 oh and 2 to count to Banks. Next pitch, another hard slider with late break. Just a little high. Yes, just guess. a little bit high, though. One ball, two strikes. Next pitch, swung on, just caught a piece of it to stay alive. Fouled it back to the screen. Thanks with knowing that he's got two strikes on him. Just even in that ball may have been a ball, but he's going to fight it off. Well, you know that slider's got a lot of yeah. movement, so you see That's that right. thing coming, you're going to have to be prepared for it. 1-2 pitch to Banks. Slider you go. catches it, though. Deep drive into the gap in left Getting center field. Wind. Center fielder's Getting back. Getting that win. And it yes. is down. Bounces off the back of the fence. Scoring Bostic one. is going to score. And that's just going to be a long single as we had some... <laughs> Some congestion on the base paths here. I guess they were holding out, understandably so, given how well this uh, San Antonio Reagan outfield has been playing these balls. But it, that was the longest single I think I've seen in a long time there as the ball went off the warning track and bounced off the fence. The Mavs runners were expecting uh, Reagan, <laughs> San Antonio Reagan, yeah. the center fielder there to catch that ball. I think so. Regardless, so, we got to run in, making it 10-5. So RBI single for Banks. Yeah. Everybody yeah. moves up one station. And we're going to have a uh, courtesy runner for the catcher Banks, number 22, Ryan Shook now. The runner at sec or at first base. Base is loaded again, still one out. Brings up third baseman Caleb Crail. Had a single in his last at bat. He swings at the first pitch and fouls it out of play first base side so we got Jackson Collins the runner at third Loon Hankey the pinch runner at second Ryan Shook the runner at first here comes the 0-1 pitch to Crail swung on there we go ground ball through the gap between shortstop and third base Collins is going to score they're going to send Hank around score to two. score two runs and on the throw in yeah good base running Shook advances to third and Crail advances to second so a two RBI single for Crail. Ten seven now, and the Mavs with runners on second and third. Still one out. Brings up the left handed hitting going. James Morio. And he looks at a fastball that misses outside. Ball one. No uh, no movement or stirring of any kind in the Rattler dugout just yet. Another fastball misses outside and high. Ball two to Morio. Three straight fastballs that miss high and outside. So three balls and no strikes. You think Count green light out. here? I think he's thrown. You think he's? I think he's thrown three balls, not even closer to play. Yeah. You just sit back. All right, those will get me over strike in there. Three and one. Haven't seen the slider yet this at bat. Although every lefty he's thrown the slider to has been it resulted in a hit by pitch, so he may stay away from that one. Here comes the three-one pitch. 
Swung on, ground ball, just foul down the first base side. And the count will go full now. Three balls, two strikes to Morio. And next pitch is swung on and missed, strike three. Second strike out of the game for Rangel, the pitcher. And with two outs, runners on second and third, that brings up Brandon Morio. Lined out to center field, his last at bat. And he looks at the first pitch fastball, misses outside and low for a ball. Looks like we do have some sort of movement in the uh, Rattlers bullpen now. Next pitch swung on, a little chopper. No man's That's land right tough. between... High the throw. Ball. The throw is over, over first base. Overthrown baseman. first baseman. Morio is going to get to second base, and two runs will score on the little chopper that just went right a few feet in front of the catcher. Perfect placement. So Morio will be safe on a two-out error. Gets to second base. I'm making it ten nine. And it ten nine make this Reagan score ten to nine. As the Mavs have had one, two, three, four, five, six runs this inning, a six run inning. Way to draw that play up, Aguirre. Coach Aguirre, yeah. <laughs> now, perfect placement by Brandon. We are back, I, to the, back where we yeah, started this yeah. inning. Leadoff hitter, Ramsey Simpson, batting for the second time. And he started this inning with a hit by pitch, it was the first run to score. Swung on, ground ball, hits a shortstop, fielded cleanly, throws over to first base in time, and that will end the inning. We get six runs there. But a great happening. inning for the Mavs. Yeah. Absolutely. Bats came alive. Things started working their way. And they, and they pull within one. As we head to the top of the sixth inning here, score San Antonio Reagan 10, Mavericks 9. We'll be right back. All right, leading off here in the top of the sixth for the Rattlers, number three hitter Brennan Greer. Reached safely all three times today. Twice by hit by pitch and then a walk last inning as he fouls the first pitch off. Down the third base line. A one pitch swung on, fouled out of play on the right field side this time. So pitcher Newman working ahead with no two count on the leadoff hitter here. He 
And next pitch. Looked like if he didn't swing at it, we might have had a chance of hitting him. Yeah. But he swung at it anyway and fouled it over towards the uh, Rattlers dugout. Newman saying thank you. Yeah. For that swing. Oh, two pitch misses outside, ball one. Next pitch swung on, hard ground ball gets through the glove uh, of the third baseman, Crail, for a single into left field. Leadoff single for Greer, brings up the designated hitter, Ermis. Flew out, had a three-run home run, and was safe on an error back in the fifth inning. First pitch breaking ball catches the outside corner and called strike one. Looks like we have some a uh, couple of arms up in the Mavericks dugout or uh, bullpen. Quick throw over to first from pitcher Newman. Greer's back in time. Or 0-1 pitch to Ermis. Swung on. A little chopped ground ball to third base. Fielded by Crail. Throws over. And the throw is a little bit low and in the dirt. And is going to get out all the way back to the fence. Looks like Greer is going to come in and score all the way from first base. And Ermis makes his way all the way to third. On the air there. A run scored for Reagan. Making the score 11 to 9 in favor of the Rattlers. Brings up the third baseman, Tegan Peoples. Had a single his last bat. Swing hard ground ball gets into left field there down the line. That's going to be a single, possibly more. And he's going to hold up at first. And that will allow Ermis to score easily from third base. Line drive just past the Mavs third baseman, Crail. Infield was playing all the way in, we're in. on that, yeah. which didn't allow Crail a whole lot of time to react to that because it was a really hard shot down the third base side. And looks like we're going to have uh, with nobody out running around first. Left hand hitting Beard. He's going to square around to try to bunt, but the ball gets past the catcher Banks, and that allows Peoples to advance easily to second base. And time is called, and uh, Mavericks coach Aguirre is going to come out and talk to his pitcher. Yeah, Geary probably just killing a little time. And it looks like we've got, I can't see who is coming in from the Mavs, but. I see a row. I thought I saw two yeah. two down there. It looks like just a right-hander down there now. Okay, is it maybe Jason Sh or. Uh, okay, so we've got. Uh, Right-hander Schneider warming up in the bullpen, but it looks like we've got a left-hander who may be ready to go. Although, looks like he's, coach is going to keep no, pitcher he's Newman in. Him in. Let me see another batter or two how it goes. 
There were a couple Mavs walking out of the bullpen and uh, thought somebody else, you know, was going to uh, to come in. But all right, so we're back. Coach stays with the pitcher, Newman. And it looks like the field umpire is telling Newman he can't either blow into his hand or lick his hand yeah. there and then go directly to the ball. So <laughs> Catcher Bank stands out, steps out, and has a quick conversation with Newman after the mound visit. Banks saying to Newman, hey, buddy, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm telling him, Blue, <laughs> says Banks. <laughs> I'm talking to him. I'll handle this. Extended conversation here. Home, up, home plate umpire trying to get the game moving. On a side note, I uh, I love Peoples. He's, he's standing on second base. Reagan's. Uh, peoples and I uh, love those shoes. Hard to miss those, those highlighter shoes. <laughs> highlighter green. All right, Newman is set to deliver here to <laughs> left hand hitting Beard. He squares around to bunt, lays it down. It's a good bunt down the third base side. Probably not going to have a play. Nope. So bunt single for Beard. Good push bunt down yep. the third base side for the left-handed hitter there. It also advances the runner Peoples to third base on the play. He did his job advancing Peoples to third base. So the Rattlers have runners on first and third here with nobody out in the top of the sixth. Left fielder Jacob King stands in. 0 for 3 today. Two ground outs and was safe on a fielder's choice. Runner goes from first, and Banks fakes the throw down, but does not throw with the runner on third. So that will eliminate the force. And Peoples now the runner on third, Beard the runner on second. Infield playing in on the edge of the grass, trying to keep the runs from scoring. Pitch is swung on, lofted foul out of play down the left field side. The 1-1 one, one pitch to King. Swung on, lofted into shallow right field. That's going to get down for a single. One run will score easily. Throw in from the right fielder, Morio is a good one, and that will hold the runner up third. So Peoples comes in to score. Extending the lead for Reagan, 13-9. Just station-to-station -station baseball yeah. right here. Four singles this inning. Plus an error. Still nobody out. Right, looks like we're going to have a... We got pinch hitter. Number 24, Aiden Coleman. Number 24, 24. Aiden Coleman is going to come in and hit in the eighth spot in the place of the catcher, Caden Roy. University of Pittsburgh commit number 24, Aiden Coleman at the plate. So he stands in with uh, runners on first and third. Nobody out. Newman throws over to first to check the runner King. He's back safely in time. Comes the first pitch to Coleman. He squares around to Bunt, pulls back. And Rattlers continue to run the same play. Have the batter square around to bunt. Allows the runner to run to second uncontested. Takes away the force. And now it's the runners on second and third again. Next pitch to Coleman is in there for called strike on the outside corner. One one pitch, swung on, sharp line drive right into center field is going to get down for a base hit. Two runs will score on the play. 
And it's a two RBI pinch hit single for Coleman. Good piece of hitting there by Coleman. Once Dude. again, you know, singles, singles, singles. Yeah. And we're going to have a pitching change for the Mavericks here. What does that make? Uh, is that six singles this half inning? Five singles Five. and an error this inning. Everyone who's come to the plate has reached safely. Yeah. So Newman will come out of the game, and it looks like we have number eight, Cole Granke, the left-hander, is going to come in and pitch in relief. We'll let Granke get his warm-ups, and we'll be right back. All right, so left-hander Cole Granke comes in to pitch. And he will inherit a runner on first. Still nobody out here in the top of the sixth. Facing the number nine hitter, Luke Sasser. Single and two walks today. He squares around to bunt, and he is hit, hit by, pitch. by the first pitch he sees. So runners on first and second now, still nobody out. And we are back to the top of the Rattlers lineup, Britton Moore. 0 for 2 today, but had a sack fly last inning, scored a run. First pitch swung on, grounded right up the middle. Oh, fielded by shortstop Vosick, but just kind of flipped it out of his glove, thinking maybe we could get a force out there, but uh, it was offline. Kind of a little razzle-dazzle there. A little razzle-dazzle. <laughs> you know, it didn't work out, but no harm, no foul. So, infield single there for Moore. Loads the bases. Now batting number two, Cole Tabor. And that brings up the shortstop and second hitter, Cole Tabor. As he looks at ball one. Tabor hit by a pitch in the first inning, struck out, and then uh, flew out twice to right field. Ooh, looks like a pitch that just missed, maybe high somewhere. I'm not sure what happened there. Umpire didn't like it. I'm assuming that was a high. So 2-0 the Speed count. Pitch. Next pitch misses a little bit inside and low, ball three. Rio pitch is in there on the inside corner for called strike one. Oh, 
Next pitch is swung on, lofted into center field. Wind has been going back a couple of steps, and he makes the grab. That will be deep enough to for the runners to tag. And Coleman will score, and everyone moves up a base. But Mavs get their first out of this inning. Now batting number 28, Brandon Greer. So Moore held up at first. But Sasser did move to third. So we've got runners on first and third now. One out. Brings up Brennan Greer, who led off this inning. Runner goes. Once again, same play. Oh, they oh, Mavs run a little razzle-dazzle here and tried to... Faked the throw down to second, threw it right back to the pitcher, Granke. Looked like we might have had a chance. On third, runner on third almost took the bait, but not quite enough. And so Rattlers take the force away again. we got runners on second and third. I like that idea, though. You, you know, may have caught Sasser sleeping over at third base. Almost. Like I said, you've seen them. San Antonio's run about six times this inning, so you... Yeah. Try to find some antidote to it. Next pitch. Or first pitch, actually. Called strike. Next pitch swung on. Ground ball to the right side of the pitcher's mound. Fielded by the second baseman, Goins. And in time, throw to first to get the runner. Sasser does score from third. And it'll be two outs. It also allows more the runner on second to advance to third. So two outs, runner on third. Brings up the designated hitter, Ermis. Swings to the first pitch and fouls a little dribbler back to the screen. And with Sasser, who just scored, making it the score 17-9 to Rattlers over the Mavs. A one pitch to Ermis. Swung on. Lined into deep left field. Simpson over. Tries to make the grab on a dive, but the ball gets past and goes back to the fence. That's going to be three. And Ermis is heading into third base, and he will be there standing up. With a two out triple. Two out triple also scores more from third easily. Yeah. That'll make the score 18 to 9. Brings up third baseman Tegan Peoples. Two for four today with two singles. The first pitch fastball catches the outside corner, strike one. Next 0 1 pitch swung on, fouled back to the screen. So Granky working ahead with an 0 2 count here with two outs and a runner on third. Next pitch just a little bit outside and high. Misses for ball one. Mavs will have their two, three, and four hitters due up to bat next inning. Oh, 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 oh. next pitch just misses a little bit outside and maybe high. I don't know. What do you think? The booth uh, may have disagreed with that call. Yeah, a little bit of disagreement here in the here box. On the, on the call in the booth, but <laughs> two balls, two strikes now. Bunch of twos. Next there pitch, it is. Swung on and miss. Strike three. Yeah, swing and a miss. 
So first strikeout for Granke ends the inning. But the Rattlers tack on eight runs in that inning. Puts them up by a score of 18-9. to nine. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Rally time. All right, we got a new pitcher for the Rattlers. Number 14, Jackson Kreider, comes in in relief. And he will face the 2-3-4 hitters here for the Mavs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Leading off will be Jack Goins. One for three today with a single. Mavs looking to have another inning like they had last inning. Tack on a bunch of runs. Try to stitch up this nine run gap they're currently facing first pitch missed inside for ball one next pitch swung on hard ground ball fielded by the shortstop and he throws over to first in time for the first out in the inning So one away for the Mavs brings up the shortstop Ryan Vosick. Hit by a pitch last inning has scored one of the one of the runs. Ooh. He swings nice the first cut. pitch and drops a nice line drive down in front of the left fielder for a single. Vosick two for three now for the day hit by a pitch and now with that single. There we go. We got a long way to go, but got to start somewhere, right? Got to start somewhere. Brings up Jackson Collins, who swings the first pitch and lofts a foul ball just over the top of the roof of the press box here. Collins with a single walk and uh, lined out to left field in his three at-bats today. 0-1 pitch, fastball misses high and inside. Be one and one. Get a hold of one, Jackson. Let's go. Hit it hard somewhere. Somewhere they ain't. Next pitch swung on right through the hole between first and second base, and that will take some weird hops and bounces. Must have been a lot of spin on that. I saw two funky hops. <laughs> it, it, it looked like it bounced like to the left, to the right, to the left again before it came into the bouncing club of the ball in between the first and second baseman. It's a hit. Right fielder there. So opposite field single for Collins. That now puts us with runners on first and second. And Chris Windesman will be the hitter. Windesman took a hard slider to the leg, hit by pitch in his last at bat last inning. Glad to see he's okay and that he's standing in the box. Let's go, Wendy. First pitch 
first pitch to Winism and fastball misses outside, ball one. Good eye. Next pitch misses. High, high above the zone. It's going to be 2-0 count to Winnesman. Comes inside and low that time. Misses. So Winnesman yet to see a strike. 3-0 count. Down nine runs, no green light. And he sees four straight balls. And that will load the bases with that walk. All right. So Mavs set up to have another rally like they had last inning. Yes, sir. Brings up Garrett Banks. Singled and scored a run last inning. Swings at the first pitch, lofts a shallow fly ball right at the edge of the shortstop grass there, brought in by the shortstop for the second out. And that will bring up Caleb Crail, who's reached safely all three of his at-bats today. Hit by pitch, two singles, mm -hmm. had a couple RBIs. Now number 29, and let's see if Crail can keep the inning alive here with... Bases loaded, two outs. Swings, first pitch, ground ball, right. Can't Taylor made to the shortstop. He will flip it to second base for the force out. And the Mavs will leave the bases loaded. That's going to do it. And it looks like that's going to be the end of the game. Mavs stage a good rally in the fifth inning, but not quite enough to overcome San Antonio Reagan, who wins by a score of 18-9 to here in Game 1 this Saturday. We've got a couple-hour break here, folks. Thanks for tuning in to us. Uh, come back in. This next scheduled game time for the Mavericks is a 7 o'clock start against Lake Travis. Be sure to tune in here on Vipe.com for that game. Thanks for joining us again today. We'll see you later on it's tonight. It's been fun, Jason. See you tonight. Bye, guys.